Squeezebox was released by US Games for the Atari 2600 in 1983. It's one of those games with a weird premise. In this case, you're a prisoner trying to escape the inexplicably continuous closing in walls. There are different variations, but they all revolve around you shooting out bars that close in on you. In Mode 1, the bars close in from both sides and you have to clear enough space to escape into the next room. In Mode 2, the bars only close in from one side and you have to clear out all the bars completely. In Mode 3, the bars only close in from one side and you have to escape, but the other wall closes in too and you can't keep it back. You can also toggle whether there are 6 or 12 bars, as well as 2 speed settings for the bars, and whether you fire automatically or manually. Like most games on Atari, there's no end. You just progress as far as you can until you're out of lives. In this case, you start out with 3, and the objective just being to rack up as many points as you possibly can. So this jailbird has absolutely zero chance of escaping. He's in an infinite layer of enclosing rooms. Hope this punishment fits the crime. In escape mode, you'll need to clear 4 of the 6 bars, or 7 of 12 depending on your settings. Mainly because your sprite is so fucking big. Now that's not a big problem, because if you were much smaller, the game would be too easy. At least in the escape modes. But what plagues Squeezebox is the monotonous gameplay. The alternate variations don't really offer anything different. It's all just the same screen again, where the bars get a little faster. This game could have been something decent if they maybe made your character smaller and made the playing field bigger. Expanded on the surrounding elements, like give you items to pick up, throw in some enemies, maybe make the whole thing a maze. I know there are a ton of maze games already, but why not? There's a severe lack of features here. Well, you can get bonus points for shooting the flashing bars, but is that enough to boost this game's rating? Nah. You can also get an extra life if you eliminate every bar completely during mode 1 when both walls have bars. But you can only have a maximum of 3 lives, and that's how many you start with. So you're never really awarded with an extra life, you're just given one back after you've died already. You have zero incentive to try for the bonus if you have 3 lives. Who ever heard of something like this? Also, it's not like wiping out all the bars is as easy as it sounds, because a little while after clearing them, they'll respawn out of nowhere. And this can be an issue when trying to escape. They'll just pop right out in front of your face and kill you while you're on your way out without warning. It does take a little while before it happens, but this really should have been corrected. Another cheap disadvantage is the bars start moving before you can. The short music clip plays out and you're stuck in the mud until it finishes. But the bars get a head start. What the hell? The fact that the game even has music is interesting because the majority of Atari 2600 games didn't have any music whatsoever, and this one has three songs. The intro theme when you start up, the song that plays between levels, and the game over theme that plays while some weird ass devil ghost dances around or some shit. Overall, Squeezebox just feels like an unfinished prototype.